It is the Oath on 106.3 The Buzz. I'm Johnny Thrash. Joining me on the show tonight, Thomas Lindbergh, vocalist for At The Gates. Uh, man, it's such a pleasure to have you on the line. I can't thank you enough for taking time to talk to me, Thomas. It's great to be here, man. Thank you for your interest. Oh, absolutely. Uh, of course, the, the big story at War With Reality, it's out on October 28th. Myself and pretty much every other metal-loving person on this planet is talking about this album right now. The magazines, the blogs, the radio shows, everyone. How exciting is it for At The Gates to see that your new album is such a big deal? Well, of course, it's uh, it's impressive and it's very humbling in, in one way, you know, to see people being so interested in what you do. Uh, we knew people were going to, you know, we, that we had listeners, but to this extent, it's almost <laughs> overwhelming. But... Uh, it is inspiring, and that's, you know, uh, also, you know, kind of like for us, it says that we did the right thing to, to go back, come back and do this record, you know. Yes, you did. You know, I remember back in 2007 when you, you got back together, you weren't originally going to gonna do a new album. You are going to play some festivals, do some touring and whatnot. At, at what point did the band, you obviously changed your mind, but at what point did you decide, you know what, it's time to start writing some new material. Let's put out a new album. Well, funnily enough, it, it's kind of like we went about it as any other band does. You know, it all was down to Anders actually coming to me and saying, hey, I got some rips, you want to hear them? <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. sometimes it's not stranger than that. And uh, But it took some time for us to actually, you know, go ahead and actively pursue it as an At The Gates record, if you know what I'm saying. We kind of mm-hmm. like had to make sure it was up to par with, you know, with what we were expecting, uh, not a lot of the fans from a new record. So therefore we wrote in secrecy for almost a year before we actually went public with the idea that we were writing. So, you know, to write without too much pressure, you know, at least outside pressure. Mm -hmm. Did, did, were you concerned about that? You know, that people, there's going to be a certain expectation. Is that why you kept it under wraps and you, you know, in case things didn't work out? In one way, yeah, because, I mean, if we, if we said to ourselves, let's actively try to write, you know, very honest, heartfelt music that we really believe in, uh, and if what comes out isn't, you know, within the parameters of what what people expect for at the gates, then, you know, we might either disband it or call it something else. But uh, it, pretty early on, we were, you know, after five or six songs, you know, being being kind of like in an embryo stage, we were really, like, feeling that this was, after probably what people might expect from us. And um, the other perspective is, of course, you know, we were actively not trying to second guess what fans were expecting, you know, per se, because that would have hindered the creative process as well. We just wanted to make sure that we felt that we were doing something that was true to to what the the band is, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's funny you mention that because, you know, I I was wondering how focused you were on not just writing another Slaughter of the Soul, but but maybe branching out a little bit. Definitely, you know, because that's what we we said to ourselves pretty early on. It's like, let's write as this is not the follow-up to a specific album. Let's just write that this is a new At The Gates record, you know, and not thinking of what came out before that or, you know, know, this might... In my eyes, this album actually fits in pretty much anywhere in our career because mm-hmm. all our albums are kind of different from each other, and this one is is, is another one of those. Uh, even though this one might have more of the things that you might recognize, you know, from all, from all the different periods, it's a little bit more uh, what you would call a sum of the different parts that is as it gets. Yeah, would you say there are any surprises on the album, something that people wouldn't expect from At The Gates? Uh, not really in that way. I mean, because as I said, you know, our, our, our albums have always been uh, mm-hmm. different from each other. Uh, so this one is, you know, not a surprise in that way. Uh, there, are, there are more... If you, if you only heard Silver or Soul, there might be surprises, yes. Uh, mm-hmm. But if you heard uh, a back catalog, there are, you know, there's, there's more of everything. There's more of the melancholy from the early days. There's, there's some abstract arrangements coming also from from a mid period. Uh, there's a lot of uh, desperation and frustration in, in the lyrics that that are portrayed in, uh, also in a back catalog. 
And of course, there's a lot of elements from from the sort of the soul era, which is more like you know the precise playing, the the, the more flow of the songwriting uh, and stuff like that. So it's more like you know almost like a best off record, I would say. You know, good. That's good to hear. Best of at the gates it sounds like a perfect record to me, Thomas. So that's that's the best news I could have heard from you. <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> I mean, fans will recognize it as an at the gates record, but still there will be like, oh, that's cool, that's new. You know, some parts of it, but still. Yeah, it's still at the gates. So yes. Surprises, yes, but not, you know, whoa, <laughs> what are they doing here? <laughs> yeah. No, nothing like that. Good, good, good. Um, you know, one of the things, everybody in At The Gates, yourself included, you're all involved in several different bands. Now, now how do you make it work? Do you juggle all of them at the same time, or do you set set some uh, certain periods of time aside to just work on a specific band? How do you do it, Thomas? Uh, basically, you know, we, we plan longer ahead than most bands do. I think, you know, we, uh-huh. we uh, for example, as we you know with the haunted, we share a Google Calendar. We have the same calendar, so we easily could, you know, yeah. <laughs> easily see which states are booked ahead, you know. And, uh-huh. and um, I think it, it all boils down to planning and, and trying. Now, the haunted and at the gates actually have new records coming out, kind of in the same period, but still, uh, both bands are very, very close to each other. So uh, we don't really see it as a problem, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's all about planning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it sounds like you're very uh, very meticulous when it comes to planning. And speaking of planning, I was looking at tour dates. I don't see anything in the U.S. yet. Certainly something's in the works. Definitely. I mean, we, we are, we, we, we're dying to get out there on the roads, uh, you know, all together. But the U.S. have always been a strong a stronghold for us. So we're definitely coming back there. Uh, right now we're in, we're in the um, the process of of uh, you know uh, looking into different uh, 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 options for that, but uh, I would say we're coming back sooner than later. If you're looking at 2015, uh, and as soon as we have something to announce, we will announce it. Uh, you know, the second that we have that. But right now, you know, we're in a stage where. If we say something too early, you know, then that might not happen exactly as we, we said, you know. So we'll have to wait a few more weeks or maybe months before we announce dates in the U.S., but they are definitely coming. Great, man. Waiting patiently for a tour date, but the big story, of course, October 28th, finally for the first time in 19 years, a new record from At The Gates at War With Reality. Thomas, I can't wait to hear it, and I'm looking forward to talking to you again. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. Thanks for your time.